Good morning. I want to talk about the word deprivation. Is that the word? Not sleeping. Not sleeping well. Not sleeping for days. Going to work and continuing on life as a mother and all the different roles that you play in life. And now, um, I haven't slept in a few days. The baby has not been sleeping between teething and just normal life shit, just keeping her up at night. So I was scheduled to go to work this morning, but I called my boss and I thank God for the boss that I have. I was at my breaking point. And I didn't, I couldn't, I was so much at the breaking point and lack of sleep. I didn't know which next move to make. I didn't know, we, we were about to get in a shower so we didn't have our clothes on. And I'm like sitting there and I'm stuck half naked. Like, okay, what do I do next? You know, just something that's simple. I, I couldn't even think. So I called her and she explained to her what was going on. And my own boss is like, okay, just the baby's going to be Okay. Just take her to daycare and go back and pick her up. You know, you get you some rest today. <sighs> I couldn't even think of that for myself. I'm so tired. I just got through dropping her off and I'm pulled over right now because I'm 45 minutes away from work, from home. Because I work down on this side, daycare on this side, and make it easier for me. But I pulled over for a second just to make this video and then just take a little break off on the road for a second, regroup. And get back home so I can go to sleep. When I am angry and during lack of sleep, I'm not functioning well. I cannot make decisions quick enough, like when I'm driving. I don't perform well at work. I don't want to be there. And I also get angry in the middle of the night waking up. I say things like, oh my God, why do I have children? I don't want children. I don't want any more children. Why do you keep crying? What is wrong with you? What do you want from me? Why can't you stop crying? But the thing is, I'm not the only mom that does that. And so many people, they don't, they don't know. They can't be honest, you know. And if we say that we're like that or we done that, they try to make us feel bad or something, you know, or... No. So I want to let you mothers know. I thank God for the friends that I have in my group. The ladies that met me through my videos. And that we have the group to talk about. Because I was able to tell it to them. And they were able to be honest with me. And like I've been there. I want to let you know that it is okay. We're, there's no perfect mom out there. Just like what I did this morning, I, I grabbed her and I apologized to her. It's all in no matter what, mommy, love you. I'm just tired. I just gotta take care of myself. I can't take care of nobody else. I take care of myself. So, um, I just want to, you know, God always uses me and I allow him to do that during these times, like right now. This is when he uses me the most and I allow him to. I don't care how bad I look. I don't care how it sounds, but I know this is going to touch somebody who needed to hear this. You are a wonderful mom. You are a great mom. Okay, you do everything that you can to take care of your kids. But every now and then, you break down. But I want to let you know that God loves you no matter what. And that you forgive yourself. And every day is a new day to begin again and try again. As much as you need to, like, try to get help. Try to figure out a way where you need to pause and stop everything and take care of yourself. So you can be rested and you can take care of your kids. <laughs> Don't let nobody make you feel like you're a bad mom. Okay? There are some bad mothers out there, though. There are ones who take it further and hit them and beat them and mistreat them and stuff like that, you know? 
words can hurt too. So we have to be careful. And we have to find that button, that stop button. And say, look, I got this stops right here. I need to take care of myself so I can move forward. Realize what it is. Like, lack of sleep can be dangerous. You no. Know? I think also God allows this stuff like this to happen to me. Because, you know, first I'm going to reach out and also to get my attention because life gets so busy sometimes that I'm, I'm not talking to God as much. I'm not reading my Bible as much. I work every other Sunday already and then, you know, I'm not going to church as much or something or I'm not, you know, he does it to grab my attention so I can draw to him. So I can remember that we cannot do nothing away from him, nothing at all. We cannot live. We cannot do everything that we need to do on our own strength. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. We need him in our life. So when you get down like that, and check your spirituality level. Have you been talking to God lately? Have you been... And when you're tired, it's when the enemy going to attack you the most. You know what I'm saying? So skip the other music for a while and put on some spiritual music. And build your spiritual, you know, um, faith back. Build your faith back up again. And, and then get your rest that you need and, and, what, and try again. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that this message, as much as it's probably like, I probably jumped all over the place in my mind. It's like so crazy right now. Like I said, I'll pull over on the side. It's like, just take a little pause. Traffic died down. It's uh, like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And yeah, it's a little traffic. It's definitely raining like crazy. I am going home. I am going to try to eat a little breakfast and go to sleep. I am going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. It's not easy being a mom, but God knows how to reach you and to speak to you and <clears throat> to put in you that strength that you need to carry on. I hope that helps somebody through my pain today. It's real, but it's worth helping somebody else out to let you know that God loves you. I love you. I care so much that I'm sharing this dark side with the world to reach out and help some mom out there. We're not perfect. We're going to fall short. We're going to fall. We ain't going to stay down. Try again.